today we what we did is we um, we installed a brand new chute. It's called the Grand Papa. It's our newest model. It's our, our latest model, and it's a hydraulic chute. Uh, it has pretty well every feature that you can imagine. What we'll do is it, it, we're going to set it here to to handle the deer. Get ready to handle the deer. You have to raise your floor. The floor comes up to the right height, and we'll say we have a fairly we have a we have a mature doe in here. So we can also lift our cradle up. We're going to lift our cradle up a little bit. See how the cradle comes up? We don't need. If you have a real long-legged deer, well, raise it up more. But anyway, you've got an average deer. Before you bring the deer in, is you want to make sure that that back press and everything is ready. You want your cradle set for a deer to come in. So you want it. To, you don't want it too wide open because you'll lose that deer. You're better off to be too small than too large. I like to use the width of my fist. I can do pretty well any dough. Um, make sure the back press is up. It's in the uh, inoperative position. Now we'll close this door. Now that deer is coming for this hole right here. That deer is going to put her head right through here. And that's what you want. Is a uh, hole. You know one thing about deer? That's one thing they like to do, is they like to go and they put their heads through a hole. So now what we do is close this door. Okay, I like to lock it, I just like to hit it right here, it locks that door. Now you get ready, and somebody would send the deer in. We open this up, and the deer would come in. If it doesn't come in, that's what I like about this box. These, these tunnel systems, our tunnel system, there's a slap door here. See, you can use that slap door to push them in. Okay, so... Close that door, that deer is coming in. As it's coming in, you can see it coming down, down right in the bottom here, you can see their legs coming through, and it's gonna go poke that, poke their head right through that hole. Well, what you do is you, you lower the floor. So, see, you lower the deer in the cradle. Oh, that's what I like about the Grand Papa deer handler. You're lowering, lowering the deer in the cradle. You're not dropping them, like a real drop floor. And So now, Right away, as soon as you've dropped your floor and you've got your head man in front, the head man is looking after the head, the shoot guy operator looks, opens this door and puts, you get right down and you put pressure on the deer's back. With your other hand, you grab that back press, put on and clamp him down. Now you can walk away. That deer is secure and that cradle is not going any place. So you do what you want. If your cradle was, what I like about the grandpapa is if you're, it's the only shoot that can do this. If, uh, if, for example, the feet, you know, the deer in a cradle gets more agitated if the feet are touching the floor. So what you what you can do is just raise the whole thing, okay? So raise the deer and all. Now it's not touching the floor, and you're at a comfortable height to work. And um, you do what you have to do. You give them the shots. Do do uh, uh, the head if you want to. If you want to, uh, you know score antlers or do anything you can do that now what you do if you're doing anesthesia this deer is sleeping you can take your back press off extend your table make sure that your table is extended right so now we're going to tilt this chute so we're going to flip we're going to close this door because in this barn if you're, if you're thinking of using a, a, a grandpapa it would be nice if your barn has at least a nine or ten foot ceiling well here we have an eight foot ceiling so I make sure that this door is closed. Okay, and I'll lower my chute. Okay, and now if you want to tilt that animal, there we go, we're tilting this animal. Okay, tilt the animal. There we go, we got the animal. Now we would get that cradle out of the way. Okay. Right here, you have full access, you have your deer on your table, you can do what you want. If you're, if it's too high, for you can lower that table. You're done. What you do is you close. You close your table. You close your cradle back up. Watch the deer's legs. Just do that careful. Close it all the way. Okay. And now you would want to straighten out your table. I mean your shoe, your cradle. Now put your cradle back in the upright position. Have it ready. Okay. 
Now you want to open your cradle and let the deer out. So let's say, so what we did here was a doe. But let's say that would have been a buck. We would basically go the same, same process. We would adjust our chute, make sure our floor is up. We would bring the deer in, make sure, well, first we make sure we got it at the right height. You know, bucks are a little bigger, so you can raise your chute a little bit. But the only difference we would do is when the deer would come close to the front here, okay? When the uh, shoot operator drops the floor, the head man automatically pops this. Right away you get on the deer's, on the, on the uh, buck's antlers, and the head man holds down on the antlers, and the shoot operator would be clamping him down. Okay, so that's uh, and then to release it, you just let them out the same way. Yeah. Um, now this is our new AI cart that um, that we come out with, and the reason we came out with that is because of the uh, anesthesia uh, process. A lot of people are going to probably go to anesthesia because there's no residue in the blood. There's less less expense. You don't have to use drugs. So that's the process that the industry, some of the industry is going. Uh, now we know that a lot of people have bought the mama shoot, they bought the papa shoot, they got the junior shoot. Well, uh, do they need a grandpapa shoot? No, you don't need the grandpapa shoot if you want to use anesthesia and, um, and, and continue using your own shoots. So we come up with this AI cart. For example, if the deer, the deer is in the shoot, you have the deer put asleep. You take this AI cart, you slip it in there, grab the deer, and you make sure their, their legs are just like if they're going to be sleeping. Okay, so make sure their legs are out of the way. Now you, you open your cradle, you slowly, you just lower the deer right onto that, onto that uh, dolly on our AI cart. Once you have the deer on there, you can you keep your anesthesia mask on, you move this out of the way, look at this. It doesn't matter if it's a junior, like I said, or the mama shoot, or the papa. Yeah, you've got a deer sleeping on this cart. If you want to, right here, you can you can AI this, you can just kick that, okay? You can angle the chute like this, put your, well her legs would have been tied on there, sorry. Hang on, hang on, I gotta start this over. So we would, okay, this animal here, so what you would do is make sure that you're, you want these legs tied good before you lift her up. So you would lift this up here like so, okay, you got some good Velcro straps and you would put right around her back legs and you hook them on here. You do both legs the same, okay. So, uh, in this case, I won't be doing that, I'm just demonstrating here, but anyway, so now you lift this with your foot, you can kick that, there's your tree. Now it's standing on the 45, you've got access to this animal, you can lap AI or do whatever you want to do. Uh, for recovering, put that back up, put it down, 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 and just wheel, wheel your animal outside. I want to say thank you to Mr. Mel Petersham in Pennsylvania here. He's a really our, he's the second customer that has a grandpapa. Uh, Scott Follett was our first one in Apple Creek, but we have a grandpapa here and today you've seen how he, we ran some of his deer through and the reason he wanted this, uh, this type is because he wanted to go with the anesthesia process versus the, uh, the drugs. So. Uh, we brought a papa here, we installed it, and that's why we're here today. And I want to say thank you very much, Mel.